Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of August 12th to August 18th. The selectmen on Wednesday decided on a transition plan to replace Town Administrator Richard Brown, who is retiring in November. The plan includes hiring someone to work with Brown for a short amount of time before he retires and then making that person the interim Town Administrator while the Town looks for a permanent Town Administrator. Selectman Lon Lawless said he thinks department heads at the town office building and a selectman can interview town administrator candidates. He said he does not think there is a need for a search committee. The selectman decided to table a decision on whether to approve of a one-day all-alcoholic beverages license for a music event that would be held on a property off of Brayton Point Road. The major sponsor for the music festival is Solar Therapeutics, Somerset Police Chief Todd Costa is concerned about marijuana and alcohol consumption at the event. The selectman asked Ed Dow, the CEO of Solar Therapeutics, to come back to them with a more detailed security plan for the event. Dow said he would be willing to scale back the event and work with the town on restrictions on the sale of alcohol. Selectman Chair Lorne Lawless said the license would be discussed again at the Selectman's meeting on August 25th at the Somerset Public Library. The Selectman approved of a special one-day all-alcoholic beverages license for the American Legion to serve drinks at the Spirit of Somerset event on September 18th at Somerset Village Waterfront Park from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. The sales are a fundraiser for the Somerset American Legion Post, which supports local veterans. The Spirit of Somerset features music, fireworks, pony rides, and other types of family entertainment. The rain date for the event is September 19th. The selectmen also approved of a special one-day wines and malt beverages license for the Legion to sell drinks at the car show that will be held on September 18th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Bluffs off of South Street. The selectmen approved of a temporary use of town property for the Somerset Berkeley Education Foundation to have a five kilometer road race on October 30th. The race will start at Pierce Beach Park and will be run mostly along Riverside Avenue, looping around on some side streets and coming back to the park. The race will be a fundraiser for the foundation that provides grants to teachers in schools in Somerset and Berkeley the foundation has held a road race fundraiser before and raised $20,000 to help education in the towns. The race would have been held last year if there was not a pandemic. The selectmen met with a representative waste management recently to discuss problems with pickup of recyclables and yard waste in town, but selectman Alan Smith said on Wednesday that problems with pickup have only gotten worse since that meeting. He said all three selectmen get complaints daily about recyclables or yard waste not being picked up. He said one resident did, didn't have yard waste picked up for two weeks. He said recyclables that were, used to, that were supposed to be picked up in Precinct 5 on a Friday did not get picked up until the next Tuesday. Smith said yard waste is supposed to be picked up more frequently starting in September. He said the town will look at bids on the trash recyclables and yard waste pickup that were made the last time the contract was awarded by the town to see if another company could replace waste management. Selectman Kathy Souza said the last time she called the highway department there were 75 complaints about waste management's pickup service. She said when waste management's 800 number for customer service is called, the wait to talk to someone is 30 minutes or more which is unacceptable. Waste management has said the problem has to do with not being able to hire enough drivers with commercial licenses. Smith said other haulers may have the same problem, but he said the selectmen owe it to the residents to at least look into other options for trash pickup. Century sensory paths that students can use during breaks at school have been painted at the South Elementary school playground thanks to the donation of paint from Somerset Paint and the work of volunteers of the school's parent teacher organization. South Elementary School Principal Stephanie Brown said the sensory paths will help with social and emotional needs of students, physical fitness, 
academics, visual skills, and speaking skills. She said the paths can be used by students who may feel restless in class or for mass breaks if students are wearing masks in school. Some of the paths are de designed for younger children at the elementary school while others are geared for older children. South Elementary School student Juliet Estrella started a newspaper this summer in her Summerfield Avenue neighborhood. She covered the news around the area, did spotlights of neighbors, and informed residents about the history of the area. The Summerfield Weekly Scoop came out once a week. Juliet and, her, and members of her family delivered the paper to 95 houses in their neighborhood. In sports, 11-year-old Somerset resident Raymond Dalmida recently played baseball in the Dominican Republic for a week. Dalmida also donated some baseball equipment to the Dominican players while he was there. Almeida played for a team organized by Ali Cepeda, son of Major League player Orlando Cepeda, who was originally from the Dominican Republic. Almeida and his family are continuing to collect baseball equipment that they will send to the Dominican Republic. Gary Aldrich, a 1978 graduate of Somerset High School, was a coach for the United States track and field team that recently competed in the Olympics in Tokyo. Aldrich coached the throwers on the team. He is the track and field coach at Carnegie Mellon University in Pennsylvania. He had previously coached in the World Championships and Pan Am Games. Aldrich said he will apply to coach in the Olympics in Paris, France in three years. Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. We will be back next week with news from around Somerset. Somerset.